Well, he's telling the truth. According to his girlfriend and her roommate, he spent the last few days at their apartment in Jersey. And a waitress at that diner places them there during the shooting window. OK, well, if Jimmy was telling the truth, then Cam didn't have any reason to be afraid of him. And why was he avoiding the limo garage at his 3 a.m. lunch break? Maybe he wasn't avoiding it. Maybe something else was going on. Most limo companies use GPS services to track their vehicles. Maybe they can tell us where Cam was going all those nights. On it. Uh, excuse me, Detective Beckett? Yeah. Hi, Sandra Whitman, Child Services. Sorry it took me so long to get here. This time of year is always bad. Oh, no, uh, not a problem. He's right in the lounge. Oh, great, thanks. Uh, uh, what's going to happen to him? County facilities don't currently have any beds, so we're working to find a foster family to take him. I'll let you know as soon as we do. Thank you. I don't know if we should just be handing him over to strangers. Castle, we were strangers until this morning. How can you be logical in the face of that face? Well, because I have to be. I mean, we don't know what's going to happen to Cosmo. We can't get attached. Is that why you won't hold him? Yes. OK, fine. I've never really been a baby person. I, I mean, some people see babies, and they want to hold them. They want to nibble their toes. And I've never been one of those people, so. Oh. I did not know that about you. I suppose you hate rainbows, too. I don't hate babies, Castle. I just don't see the appeal. But I am sure I'll feel differently when we have one of our own. Will you? Will you?